And now, ladies and gentlemen, please stand for our national anthem under the direction of Ali Montesinos, graduate assistant of the Blue Thunder Marching Band. The colors are presented by the Boise State University Army ROTC Color Guard under the command of U.S. Army Lieutenant Colonel Chambers and student commander Cadet Atkins. Conservation. And Dr. Bob Custer, President of Boise State University, is escorting Einar Norton, Steve Swain, Roy Miller, and Scott Stoltz onto the field. They're representing the entire crew of facilities operations and maintenance at Boise State. The foam team at Boise State won a prestigious Better Bricks Award for Idaho this fall by spearheading a multi-year energy conservation project in collaboration with the Idaho Division of Public Works. The effort has already reduced campus electricity and gas usage by 16% and saved Boise State $400,000 in one year. They've been champions for energy-efficient, sustainable, high-performance buildings. Boise State has more than 1,200 professional and classified staff working to make campus a better place. Let's offer a round of applause for the Boise State Facilities Department winner of the 2006 Better Bricks Award. is an associate professor of communication and serves as the director of the university's debate and speech team, the Talking Broncos. He earned both a bachelor's and master's degree from Boise State. Under Professor Moe's direction, the Boise State debate and speech team has won 12 Northwest Conference championships and five West Regional titles. The team has finished in the top 20 in eight consecutive national tournaments, and in 2005, the Talking Broncos won the national championship. Last year, the team enjoyed the first undefeated season in school history, and they remain unbeaten this season. Professor Mosta has received numerous awards for outstanding teaching and service from the Boise State Alumni Association, the Boise State Honors Program, the College of Social Sciences and Public Affairs, and the Associated Students at Boise State. And in 2002, he was honored as one of Boise State's 75 outstanding alumni by the Alumni Association as part of the school's 75th anniversary celebration. Next week in San Antonio, we'll receive the John Shields Award for outstanding contributions to communication education from the National Honorary Society, Pi Kappa Delta. Tonight's faculty coach, Marty Most. Let's give a nice welcome.
running Sunday night scrimmages, you know, a month ago. And uh, that's just part of the game. You know, those are the kind of things that happen, and uh, you still got to win. And even with the, the players that we've had, you know, we had a chance to get off to a 3-0 and start very easily with games against Oregon and Washington and also Colorado State, but lack of playmaking ability put us at 1-4, and four, and uh, it, it's really sort of snowballed on us. You know, we've, and then losing to Hawaii and LSU, very, very good team. So we, we haven't had a break as far as scheduling. But we haven't made any breaks as a football team, and that's what we got to do. What kind of problems does uh, Ian Johnson give you defensively? Well, boys, he runs the ball very well, as we all know. Um, they lead with the run, and, and, and they run the ball very efficiently. He's got great vision. He uses his blockers well. He's a threat to take it coast-to-coast coast with his speed. But then because of the run game, um, their play-action game, um, they get big strikes. I mean, they get 40-yard chunks, 50-yard chunks, the, the, the things that a good running team has to do, something we haven't been able to do this year. Um, so they, they've got the total package on offense, good running game and the ability to make big plays off of play action in the passing game. All right, that's uh, Pat Hill. I talked to him earlier, brought to you by Debt Reduction Services, your nonprofit full-service debt management and credit counseling experts. All right, our Gold's Gym Giant of the game is Kyle Young, the offensive center for Fresno State. At one time was 6'5", 320. Then when they put out the preseason guide, he was up to 330. Now, today, he's up to 335. So if you want to gain weight, maybe you should play football. Kyle Young, our Gold's Gym Giant of the game, transform your body and experience the Valley's premier fitness authority at any of the five Gold's Gym locations. Crescent Bar and Grill reminds you, if you want to listen to the voice of the Broncos and watch all the action, go to the Crescent and get a delay play. Congratulations to Paul Hanberg, who won a delay play by listening to KBOI and listening to the Bronco Notebook and qualifying. Now he can, in the comfort of his home, listen to Paul J and sync it up with the television signal of his choice and with delay play, have it all to himself. You can listen to it at the Crescent or go to 670kboi.com and get your own. Speaking of uh, the Crescent Bar and Grill, they bring us our uh, officials tonight. The referee is Bill Athen, the umpire Mike Rhodes, back judge Jim Settle, the linesman George Gooseman, the line judge is Lance Thompson, the side judge Vern Sparling, and the field judge is Jack Taylor. Today's refs are allowed in at the Crescent, but no lawyers or kids ever are on Franklin, your place to watch the Broncos. Hey, ultra clean cleaning and restorations turf and field report is quite simple. It's clean. It's not wet. We all know it's blue. Restoring your home or office after fire or water damage to even better than before. That's ultra clean cleaning and restoration. You've been listening to the R.C. Woolley pregame show. We'll be back with tonight's ball game, Boise State against Fresno State, after these words on the All-State Sports Bronco Network. We're proud to be here.
Jefferson in our country and the people of Boise. I'd like to thank everybody for making me the honorary team captain. Well, I'd rather be in the stands with my wife, Christy, and my daughter, Ashley, making the other team fear the blue. I can't, but I need everybody to be really loud. Boise State Broncos, who's carrying the pickaxe, Jeff? The Broncos running out on the field. It looks like Mike Dominguez with the pickaxe, beating it into the ground at the uh, 28-yard line to lead out Boise State tonight. So Dominguez gets it done. Idaho Sports Medicine Injury Report will be brought to you momentarily uh, with uh, Todd. Experience the new athletic testing and performance center for competitive athletes in the training program and design right next to Bronco Stadium. Train and heal like the BSU athletes do. And let's see if Todd's down there now. Let's go down to our Bronco Motors Hyundai Nissan sideline reporter, Todd Miles. Todd. Fellas, how you guys doing today? Good. Doing good. All right. Hey, a couple of notes. Uh, I heard you talk about Kyle Ging a little bit in the uh, open. He is not dressed down, won't play, nor will Austin Smith, who's still battling that hammy problem, and a new starter at quarterback tonight as uh, as Kyle Wilson will start a corner in place of Quentin Jones. Of course, you'll see Quentin a lot in nickel and dime situations still. All right, and with, uh, with uh, Austin Smith out, who jumps into that rotation? Tristan Patton? Yeah, you'll see a lot of Tristan Patton. Uh, you'll see some Ellis Powers, of course. So, you know, the Broncos got some DBs back there that they'll run out. And yeah. then does Garrett Tuggle take emergency snaps for Shields, Todd, or do we know? You know, they're high on Tuggle, but obviously you got Tuggle and you got Bean and you got Brady. You know, they like their depth at linebackers, so you could see guys mixing and matching back there gotcha. if need be. So they could slide guys over. Okay, good. All right, thanks, Todd. Uh, time for our Hawaii Sheet Metal starting lineup for your heating, air conditioning, or hardware needs. Call Hawaii Sheet Metal and Hardware. They're in Napa. Give them a call uh, today. Starting lineup for the Boise State Broncos. The receivers, Gerard Rabb, Dryson James uh, at receiver. Along the uh, offensive line, Ryan Clady, Tad Miller, Jaden Daly, Jeff Cavender, and Andy Woodruff. The tight end will be Derek Schumann. Jared Zabransky runs the show at quarterback with Ian Johnson. At running back, Brad Lau will be the fullback. Our kickoff now brought to you by Bodybuilding.com. Kick off a new you at Bodybuilding.com where you'll find all you need to succeed with your weight loss goals. Of course, Boise State will receive. Of course, Paul Jay, it's about 45 degrees out there. The field is in great shape. Brought to you by Nelson's RV. Nelson's RV, their business is your pleasure. And a stripe. In the stands, looks pretty darn good. I, I got to compliment uh, the people. It looks great. Absolutely incredible. <laughs> good job. Be a good aerial shot. Yeah, and you, you can bet somebody's going to be taking one tonight. Here comes the kickoff, and it's a short kick. Bounces, picked up by Quentin at the goal line. Upfield of the 10, the 15, the 20, and knocked down at the 24-yard line. He just plowed straight ahead, and already... 
Uh, we got guys getting into each other's face. Number 47, Ryan Mikado against Corey Hall, pushing Corey. Corey's too smart to get caught up in that. Yeah, wouldn't that be a blow if uh, Corey Hall were to get that kind of a penalty early in the football game? Think but, they'd give up Mikado for Hall? Yeah, I would think so. Not a bad job, though, by Quentin, who is still searching to return to form from last year. All right, first down, Boise State will start on offense. They are, as we gave you, the offense. Zabransky, the quarterback. Ian Johnson, the single setback for Boise State. Hand off on the first play to Ian. He's hit from behind and dragged down for a loss. Wow, big play there by uh, big number 97, Jason Shirley, the nose tackle who reached back and uh, got the uh, tackle. Boise State lined up with the tight end to the right, normally running that direction. They shot Ian back to the weak side. It did not fool the big man, Jason Shirley, who tracked him down and did not follow his normal run responsibilities. All right, passing situation, second down and 13. Zabransky from the shotgun, Schumann in motion. There's the snap. Z back the pass. Fires got Schumann wide open at the 25. He's got it. Out of bounds at the 30. Five yard, four yard short of the first down. I think what we saw on the first down, Paul, is what we expected. They're going to stack that box up and make them defeat Fresno State's defense some other way than just running Ian Johnson left and right. And as you well know, Ian Johnson gets a lot of yards in the second half. Helmendahler getting some early playing time in this game. He's in the football game now. That's a different face. Elman Dollar back in the shotgun. He is off to the right of quarterback Jared Zabransky. Third down and four. Big play. The Broncos don't want to go three and out. Back to pass Z. Has time all day. Fires almost intercepted. Caught by no Drop by uh, Legadu Nene at the 34-yard line. Boy, Elgin Simmons, the back corner, the jumped that route. It was just totally predetermined that the ball was going to Legadu Nene to... Brian Harson told us earlier he's determined to get the ball more to Legadu because he's a big playmaker as BSU hustles on the field. Paul Jay to go. All right, punting situation. Stringer on the kick. They get him on really quick. There's the punt. It's a bomb way back inside the 25 to the 23. Let's go down to our Bronco Motors Hyundai Nissan sideline microphone guy. Here's Todd Miles. Hey, you guys saw right there how they hustled on the field. They saw something in Fresno State on film. They have one. Well, they'll hustle in and snap it right away. That one they waited a few seconds, but uh, they saw something Fresno doesn't do, so they're going to try to take advantage of that. All right, a great punt by Stringer. First and 10, Fresno State. The crowd is into it for Boise State. Broncos three and out on their first possession. Fresno State quarterback is Sean Norton. Dwayne Wright, the running back. Fernandez and Williams, the wide receivers. There's the snap. Back to pass. Firing. Caught by Williams at the 30-yard line, a gain of about seven. Kyle Wilson was in coverage that time on Williams, had a healthy dose of respect for Williams because of the big game that he had last year going deep on Boise State, and he did come up and close quickly on it, but I think the coaching, specifically Yates, would like to see him much more aggressive in Williams' face. Gain of eight, second down and two yards to go. Norton at the line of scrimmage. Dwayne Wright time here. Norton calling signals, two receivers to the uh, left, handoff to uh, right, and he's hit and dropped short of the first down. A great tackle by uh, Kyle Wilson on the far side of the field. Boy, he smacked them down. Yeah, and Orlando Skandrick is laying some leather as well, setting up a third and short. Tremendous force with Wilson and Skandrick both contributing. Mike G. Williams expected to take a lot of snaps at the right defensive end position tonight. Did a nice job stringing it out as well, Paul. Big play for Fresno. Third down and a yard. No backs on third down and a yard. That's unbelievable. Four receivers. Broncos jump. See if they were drawn. You know, it's okay to jump, but don't touch. Yep. You see, jump, don't touch, jump back, and you're okay. Ellis jumped and jumped back, but he might have touched. Outside. Defense. Yep. Unabated to the quarterback, number 92. Five-yard penalty. Results in a first down. So offsides uh, there by Ellis, and uh, big first down as big Dennis Ellis jumped and touched. Yeah, that's just not good discipline by Dennis. He thought he saw something that... He didn't. You don't like to give away first downs like that. Probably got a hard count going there to try to get him to jump and it work. That was an unusual formation for uh, third down and a yard. Norton hands it off. Right. Knifes his way up to about the 40. Gain of about three. 
Kyle Wilson once again coming up in run contain support from his left corner position to contain right. And he gets too aggressive on that. Fresno State's offensive coordinator will sit up there and say, okay, that kid's a little over anxious to play the run. We're going to pitch yeah. it over his head. Great point by you on that third and short throwing it. We'll keep an eye on that. Second down and seven yards to go. Eye formation. Norton calling signals. Balanced receivers. Broncos up close. Hand off to right. Big hole. And he's across the 45, just short of the first. Well, he might have it. Very close. It looks like he's at the 46. So it'll be 30 yard again. Let's see if they come out with that no back attack. Well, once again, Kyle Wilson and Marty Tadman combining to make the play as the dominant Fresno State offensive line tied up BSU's defensive line and their linebackers. They're getting an extra man to block on Boise State, and it's working. Again, the straight eye formation. The crowd is very noisy. Third down, less than a yard. Broncos running around a little bit on defense. Tadman now sets up. There's a deep handoff to uh, right. I don't think he made it. Looked like he was short, and another great tackle. This time, Gerald Alexander comes up, grabs him from behind, throws him to the turf. We'll see where his forward motion is. It looks like they're going to give him the first down. No, they're not. About half a yard short. You know, what made that possible for Alexander is that when Wright was running, he ran into one of his own linemen because he was getting stood up. Got to go was, for it. That was Corey Hall that came in and stood up the offensive lineman from Fresno State and met him at the line of scrimmage and made that possible. That's a huge play early. They're going to go for it. The handoff to Wright comes too deep. See if he comes off tackle this time. There's the uh, handoff. Nope, right up the middle. And very close. Oh, boy, I don't know. I don't know. Definitely an Idaho camera First view down. for us. I First mean, down. I think he leaned over and got it, but you could argue that his knees from the stands did not look like he was in an upright position. It looked like he was down. So first and ten, a big gamble by Fresno State. They go for it on fourth down. Yeah, third and short, no backs. Going for it on fourth and short in your own territory. They're there to play. Yep. Everything on the season on the line tonight for Fresno State. Boise State adjusts defensively. Norton, the young quarterback, they haven't asked him to do much yet, Jeff. Now he's back to pass. Rolling out, has time, sets up, fires upfield, dropped by Williams. Boy, he, we could have used a couple of those last year. Interesting decision by Corey Hall, who had to decide whether to stay with Williams or force Norton to throw by being the secondary contain man. Corey waited as long as he could and then got up in Norton's face, and Norton quickly threw it to Williams, who simply dropped the ball. Yeah, he did. He was open, but he gained about five. It's been that kind of year for Fresno. Second down and ten. Norton, single setback is right. Two receivers left, one to the right. That's Williams. Norton, three-step drop, sets up. Now he wants to run. He's hit at the line of scrimmage and knocked down. Boy, what a great play. Looks like uh, for Boise State. Andrew Browning is really the one that flushed Norton out of the pocket. I'd credit Browning with putting Norton on the move, and he'll be you know, caught with a short gain, but I'd give him a tackle for loss and or a sack. Yeah, and you know, I think Dennis Ellis actually slowed him up at the line of scrimmage, maybe. And now here's third down, and it's a little different this time. Third down and eight. The Broncos gave him one on a penalty. They made one by an inch. Let's see what happens here. Norton back to pass. Here comes the rush. He's hit and dropped. What a great sack off the corner that time. Colt Brooks. Wow. I don't know how he got around the blocker. Well, Colt Brooks and Nick Schleckaway both met at the quarterback. It was a two-on-one where the remaining running back for Fresno couldn't get it blocked. Boy, Colt Brooks showed great speed that time because the guy had looked like position on him. He went right around him. Boy. Fourth sack of the year for Fresno State. They're a tough group to get it done on. All right, here's the punt, and they've had problems here. That's a good punt, though. Tadman comes up. It's going to hit, and, boy, it almost hit a Bronco. That was so close. Well, Sean Scott was Ooh. not paying attention. He thought that ball was going further. He was watching Marty Tadman, and he thought Marty Tadman was going to catch it. So a very bad punt off the bounce. TV timeout, 8.08 left to go first quarter. We're scoreless on the All-State Broncos Sports Network.
yesterday, the number 18, will be top 10. And set for my clock here in Bronco Stadium. Will also be choice for Tom's Day in Bronco Stadium. Please bring a new joint for a child that would otherwise not receive a gift on Christmas. That makes this year's holiday season special. For our children and leaders, that's what you should get to Tom's Day on Saturday. That will be a team that is at Broncos thank Tintrex, the official rental supply company of the Broncos. And it's sponsored this year's pre-game title. Tintrex, you can never be able to do this. Only None with 8.08 left to go on the first quarter on the All-State Broncos Sports Network. The first quarter brought to you by Burger King. Have it your way at Burger King. You know, third down last year with an experienced offense with Pinnaker and a good running attack, Fresno State was number one in the country on third down conversions. They've plummeted to like 40th or 50th in the country. So, I mean... We're so conditioned to them converting on first down. They did a nice job in that first drive, and I think in some way, Norton's going to gain a little confidence from that. I know when the chips were down, that kid was nowhere to be found. He was confused. I think that was a coverage sack, and Norton did not read that well. He should have checked away from it. Look at this. Now, Fresno State, not used to the long ESPN timeouts, has their defense on the field. Boise State can look and see what they have in there. The Broncos have not put their offense on the field. They're coming out right now. And uh, so Fresno State could not adjust if Boise State came out in some weird look, and Brett Denton is the running back. Yeah, so Ian Johnson's not in the package. I think they'd start throwing the ball with four wideouts. Two to each side. Zabraski calling signals. Inside handoff to Denton. Breaks through the line of scrimmage. Perretta's still got it. He's at the 35, the 40. I watched Brett Denton, who would have had 10, and... Uh, Benny Peretta got 12, so ran he did better. Ran the option after faking the dive to Denton, and I thought Jared pulled down and pitched that ball a little bit early, but it looks like he could read the defensive ends better than we could, and then Peretta outran two Fresno State defenders, including Alan Goodwin. Nice block by Gerard Rabb on the outside, too, to get him a few extra yards. First down, Boise State, their first. Zabransky calling signals. Johnson in there now at tailback. They fake to him. Z back to pass. Flushed out of the pocket. Rolls. Has time. Fires. Incomplete. He just overshot Schumann at the um, 47-yard line in Fresno territory. Looked like Schumann might have been able to make the catch, but the pass was high. Jared scrambled into the boundary and wanted Gerard Rabb. The pattern wasn't there. Rabb broke it off and then ran downfield and then... Jared scrambled over to the sideline and found Schumann open. Didn't throw it that high, maybe a little hard, and it went through Shu's hands. One of the drop passes they cannot afford. Yep, and we talked about that in the pregame show. All right, now from the shotgun, both Lau and Johnson back there, and Nene in motion. That play was doomed from the start as the Broncos are going to be called. Before the ball is snap. Before the ball is snap. Snap, snap infraction. infraction. Okay. Okay. Snap infraction. Yeah, we've seen snap infractions. Now, the last couple of games, they called two of them at the Idaho game. Well, this is called a rhythm infraction because... That's exactly what it right is. Right now, you might as well break out a disco song. Yep. Boise State is not in rhythm. You you know, you're overthrowing a ball here. You're scrambling. Your first priority wasn't there. Then you have a penalty. It's probably about time to get back to Ian Johnson. All right. Three wideouts. Well, I'd agree with you, except it's second and fifteen. There's a pass caught by Nene at the 35 to the 40, knocked down at the 42 and out of bounds. So often those quick outs to Nene with Gerard Rabb blocking for him result in a decent gain. That time, though, Fresno had it well defended with three defenders waiting for that play to develop. So it gains five. It's third down and ten. See what the Broncos do here on third and long. No score. 6.53 left to go here in the first quarter. From the shotguns of Bransky. Man in motion, Nene. 
Z has the snap. Back to pass. Has good protection. Fires upfield. Dropped again by Dryson James. So, you know, there comes a point in time when, uh, I mean, James had three wide open drops just like that at Idaho, and now he drops his first pass tonight. There comes a point of diminishing returns uh, with Dryson James in the pattern. He's dropping way too many balls. He still leads the team in receptions, and in that case, he could have had a first down but did not hold on to the balls. Again, Boise State goes jailbreak in their punt, trying to catch Fresno off guard. And they're not going to snap it immediately. Stringer had a great punt first time. Scoreless here. 6.36 to go in the first quarter. It's a fake. They give it to Nene. He's wide open. He's at the 50, the 40, the 35, the 30, and down at the 37-yard line. We've seen that fake before this year. This time it really worked well as uh, Legadu Nene... The uh, quarterback on the punt team saw something, and boy, that was wide open. Let's go down to our Bronco Motors Hyundai Nissan sideline reporter, Todd Miles. You know, we talked about what they saw in film. They saw that one. They practiced that all week. They haven't seen that since the Nevada game two years ago on the road when he did it against the Wolfpack. Like doing an A, huge run, big first down for Boise State. You're right about one thing, Jeff. Legadu is a big part of the Bronco offense tonight. He really is. And, you know, that formation had a punt blocked on him last week against Idaho. Offset eye formation. Now the play's blown dead. They're going to review something? Timeout. Boise State. Ooh, Boise State calls the timeout. Timeout. First charge, timeout. 6.01 left to go. It's scoreless at Broncos Stadium, but the Broncos are driving on the All-State Broncos Sports Network. Take a look at Bronco Vision, the U.S. Bank. Check it out. Highlights, remember, courtesy of the official bank of the Broncos. Trailing 7-0 in the first quarter of last week's game at Idaho. Jared Zabransky puts up with Lengadu on a third down play. That Lengadu turns into a season-long 61-yard touchdown reception, helping push the Broncos to a 42-26 road win. And an eight-straight victory over the Vandals. Uh, that's your U.S. Bank. Check it out. Highlight to remember from U.S. Bank, the official bank of the Broncos. Turn to page 26 in your game program. If you're the lucky person with an autograph from head coach Chris Peterson, you're the winner of a year's supply of famous star hamburgers. If Coach Peterson has signed your program, go to the midfield gate up the center of the field at the end of the quarter to receive your coupon. Successful teams pay attention to the details and look for performance from their partner. Boise Office Equipment can be that kind of partner for your business. Championship performance and service. Boise Office Equipment is committed to helping your business be successful with the best tools from Kyocera and Rico and the best service from Boise Office Equipment's team of professionals. When it comes to finding the right solution for your business, trust the professionals of Boise Office Equipment, a team Bronco partner, and the company others wish they could copy. Go first quarter, we are scoreless. You can listen to every Bronco football game and every Bronco talk with Coach Peterson on our website, 670kboi.com. Click on the BSU Football On Demand link to find an archive of every game and every coach's show all season long. Boy, what an important possession now for Boise State. First and ten after a 30-yard fake punt by Legadu Nane. Six minutes to go in the first quarter. They're already on Fresno State's 28-yard line. Fresno State's given up a lot of points in the first quarter, Paul. Boise State scored a lot of points in the first quarter. This is their chance. You know, they may have one other possession in this quarter, and I think they need to put a little bit of the end of that knife into Fresno's yeah. chest. Yep, you no must question. start inching it in there before you can stick it all the way in. We've talked about teams hanging around, which they have done on the Broncos this year. Yeah, and part of that is Ian Johnson. Now, if you're Fresno State... On the passing game, they've already decided they're not going to rush more than three or four, and they're going to make Boise State hold on to the ball when it's thrown, and they're going to make sure that Jared Zabransky throws it to the right guys. Well, it's not on Jared so far. Two drops have been what's happened. Jeremy Childs in, in relief of Dryson James. He is wide to the left. Inside of him is Rapp. Two tight ends. One of them now goes in motion. That is Schumann. Single setback is Ian. Hand off to Johnson. He's at the 30. Gets around the corner. 35 down to the uh, down to the 20. So a gain on the play, depending on where they spotted, of around eight yards for Ian Johnson. 
You know, Dan Brown, defensive coordinator from Fresno State, is already gambling with his weak side linebacker, Marcus Riley, who's really one of his better players, by giving him the green light to blitz when he thinks Ian Johnson is coming his way. That's exactly what he did, and Ian just faked him out of his shoes. Gain of uh, seven. It'll be second down and three, offset eye formation. Lau and Johnson, the running backs. In motion, Rab. Fake it to Rab, give it to Ian, whistle dead. Boy, there's that disco record again. Yep. See, we have another illegal snap. Yeah. Ball start. Offense. Number 79. Five yard penalty. Remain second down. Big Ryan Clady, the man who moved for Boise State. So it goes from second and short to second and long. And, you know, one thing Clady's got on his mind is Tyler Klutz is the returning whack sack leader. He killed Boise State last year. He's a quick guy, so Clady knows he has to get off on the ball, and I think he's probably a little too anxious about it. Bronco shift into a shotgun with two running backs, Lau and Johnson. In motion, then A. Inside handoff to Ian. Waits, waits, waits. Inside the 25, down to the 21. I don't know how he did that. He was stopped dead at the 25, and he falls to the 21 somehow. He's very strong. Almost just waits for other people to quit, and that's when he gives you that just that last burst of energy. Reminds me of Muhammad Ali's rope-a-dope strategy, yeah. how he finished rounds. Yep. He lulled you to sleep like he was just some fat slob on the ropes, and in the last 30 seconds, he pummeled you. Third down and three, Boise State on the move at the 21-yard line of Fresno State. We're scoreless here in the first quarter. Sobranski, play action. Rolling out, he could run for it. Now, oh, great block by Schumann, but he got tangled up in Schumann. Zabransky did, and down he goes with a one-yard gain at the 20. It'll be fourth and two. Ryan Putnam was a designated receiver in the end zone, the tight end for Boise State. He doesn't catch many balls, but he had somebody on him like a glove. Josh Shirley, the strong safety, did a nice job on Putt, and Jared did not have any other options to throw to. Surely one of their better players. His brother, also on the team, made a big tackle earlier in the game. All right, Anthony Montgomery going to try a 38-yard field goal from the hold of Kyle Stringer. Good snap. Kick is up. Good. Well, it looked like it was turning right there, but it went in. 427 left to go first quarter. Three to nothing. Boise State on the All-State Broncos Sports Network. He stayed 427 left to go. A 38-yard field goal by Anthony Montgomery. A nine-play, 50-yard drive used three minutes and 41 seconds. The uh, scoring drive recap brought to you by Access Heating and Air Conditioning. Your access to total comfort, locally owned and operated. You know, BSU's outscored their opponents in the first quarter, P.J., 2-1. to one. Fresno State's been outscored in the first quarter, 2-1. to one. Four minutes and 27 seconds to go. Norton has to show that he can counter. I mean, they have to come up with some big plays. I don't think, unless they want to get right going and try to grind it on down the field, but so far to me, they're putting the pressure on Jared Zabransky in the passing game, and there's been at least two or three occasions now where they have dialed up Boise State's passing game, and the receivers aren't there. Talking to Pat Hill about uh, Dwayne Wright, and he said, you know, Dwayne Wright's been running the ball good, but when we get 
long drives, and we hand it off and try to get it on the ground. Somebody screws something up before we can make it 80 yards. So uh, it's been one of those kind of years so far. The Bronco Stadium is striped, and it looks pretty darn good. All right, we are ready to go. Anthony Montgomery will kick it off for Boise State. Left-footed kicker. There, there's the kick taken by West at the 7 up to the 20. Got a hole, 30. Outside, he could go. He's to the 50. He might score. He's to the 40, the 30, the 20, the 10. Touchdown. Well, doggone it. That's the first big play of the year for Fresno State. They haven't had an offensive play or a kick return of over 40 yards until right now. And they just got one. And Boise State finds themselves stunned and behind. And Fresno State finds themselves on cloud nine. You can see the emotional lift that provided. They probably have that feeling like a volcano has just erupted, and this is going to set them off. David Shields tried to catch him. Rashawn Scott ran about 150 yards to try to catch him. Anthony Montgomery could do nothing to even clip him at his heels. And now Fresno State's struggling, Paul Jay, to get off their PAT. And they're a a man short on the line. They finally got it together. So West with a 100-yard, a 93-yard kickoff return. The kick is up, and it is good. Fresno State, just like that, leads 7-3, to three, and you can throw out all those who scores the most in the first quarter stats. And you can throw out all of those who hasn't had a long play stat and who hasn't had a kick return stat. All the stats are gone. we got a football game. When you give up big plays in the kicking game, uh, there's a lot of pointer the fingers that start getting pointed because typically that's a very rare instance to have that kind of a return on you. So guys start questioning on what happened and why did that occur and you start reviewing things. You know, Dan Hawkins really struggled in his first year as Boise State special teams coach and he got it righted. I'm not saying Coach Choate is struggling, but a block kick last week, giving up a touchdown return right here. You don't have to have anybody questioning you. You're already talking to yourself at night about that kind of stuff. Chaston West, 93 yards, has given him the lead. Well, get used to that kid. That's a redshirt freshman, Paul Jay, and I think he'll probably be filling in for Paul Williams quite well over the next couple of years for Fresno State. And Fresno State's return game has just not been that great this year, but that just ratcheted it up. First big play of the year on special teams. Here's the kick taken by Quentin Johns at the 7, up to the 20, the 25, down at the 28-yard line. Pretty good field position for BSU. Corey Hall again getting into it on a kickoff return, this time getting knocked backwards after the play by a Fresno State football player and being put on his butt. Now, they'll use that as an emotional lift. I'm sure Corey will use it as a revenge factor, but Ryan Machado, the linebacker... Same guy as last time. He won't see him again until the next Fresno State touchdown or field goal, so he may never see him again. Yeah, so Machado has gone after uh, Hall twice. Probably his designated responsibility. Yeah, see if we can get um, Corey Hall thrown out of the game. That'd be good. All right, 345 left to go here in the first quarter. Broncos behind. Pass by Z is uh, complete to Benny Peretta at the 25. He's to the 30, knocked down at the 32, a gain of four. I thought Brian Harson had two goals before the game when it comes to spreading the wealth and making guys make big plays, and it was to get the ball to Legadu and get the ball to Vinny Peretta. Those are the two guys that he felt were a little underutilized. You know, Legadu only has about a couple of touches a game. Yeah. And, and they need more out of him. they got to get it to him more, and they feel the same way with Vinny Peretta. Dyson James back in the ball game. He is wide to the right. Gerard Rabb wide to the left. Rabb now goes in motion. Under center, Zabransky hands it off. Ian Johnson at the 30 and knocked down at the 35, a gain of three. Nice job by Vincent Mays, who runs up from his free safety position. And, you know, with the great athleticism that the Fresno State defensive secondary has, Ian's going to find that his first and second contact's going to come quicker and he's going to have to show his strength to get away from that and show some separation. And as we know, that usually comes in the third and fourth quarter when guys are worn down. Yep. So another big third down for Boise State. Third down and three. Broncos quickly out of the huddle. Johnson not in the lineup. Peretta is the tailback. 
Calling signals. It's the option play. Zabransky's going to keep it. He's at the 40. He's at the 45 and out of bounds at the 48. Nice run by Jared Zabransky. We haven't seen much of that this year, Jeff. That was perfect. Great call, and you just waited for Jared to pitch it, but he never had to. Tyler Klutz, who was the defensive end on that side, ran inside on a stunt and had pass responsibilities, and they caught him sleeping as they turned it up on a third and three into the option, into the boundary, and that's a tendency buster right there. You're not looking for option to the boundary, third and three. Another great uh, block by Gerard Rapp. A couple of tight ends, both shift to the right side. Johnson back in there. Now Putnam goes in motion. Ends up as an H-back. Hand off. Nope. Zabraski still with it. Pass upfield to Schumann at midfield. And he's thrown out of bounds at the 45. Six-yard gain on first down. Just saw the effects of Ian Johnson, the decoy. Yep. That's how those plays become so effective. You give the guy 25 to 30 shots a game, all you got to do is fake it to him, and it's an effective play. Second down, four yards to go for Boise State. 2 11 left to go first quarter. 7 to 3, Fresno State on the lead. Rare Wednesday night ball game from Bronco Stadium. It's sold out again. Man in motion is Schumann. Second down play. There's a deep pitch to Ian. Has a block. Cuts up field. Now he doesn't have a block and is knocked down at the 42. A gain of three. Ian that time was trying to cut off of Derek Schumann's block who could not contain Marlon Briscoe, the big defensive end for Fresno State who did a good job stringing it out then got some support. I thought Ian may have made just the wrong decision there which way he decided to go. He should have went inside. He went outside. Third down and a yard and a half for Boise State. Line of scrimmage, Fresno State 43. James out of the huddle first, runs off to the right side. Broncos come up to the line of scrimmage very quickly, but don't snap it quickly. Zabransky hands it off to Johnson, has a hole. He has the first down at the 40. He's at the 35. He's at the 30 and down at the 29-yard line. You know what kills me? Here's what he'll do. He slides off the block, off the off tackle, slides to the outside, and the defender knows that he's going to have to pursue him to the sideline, and so he waits for that defender to commit, and once the defender commits to cutting him off at the sideline, he says, okay, I'll cut inside of you. He doesn't get greedy. That's ultimate patience right there. And he puts his hand on the back of his last blocker a lot. He did it that time, like, uh, you know, So he can feel which way he's going. Then he cuts it up. First down, Boise State at the 30. Zabransky hands it off. Peretta cuts it inside. He's not a power runner. He's down to the 28, a gain of two. I still don't know what to make of Ian consuming 10 bananas a game. I want to keep my job. I don't want to go anywhere near that. You follow me? A day, not a a day. We don't even need to go near that. I know. But why are you? That's a lot of potassium. That is a lot of potassium. He here. said he did it. He started doing it out of boredom. He had nothing to do in meetings. So he, I'll eat an 80-calorie banana. Yeah. Or, I've had a banana or, or every ten day. Of them. Yeah, I eat one every morning, but not 10. Not in bunches. Second down, gain of three. Second down and seven. Sobranski drops back, has time. Has time. Now he rolls wide. Now he fires. Got a man open. James, touchdown. Dryson James. He caught it at the two. Cut it in. He didn't drop that one. Touchdown, Boise State. Broncos back on top, 9-7. to seven. Boy, another broken play that turns into magic for Boise State as Jared Zabransky had all day with Ian Johnson just waiting in there, helping on pass protection. And then he finds Dryson James coming back across the field, turning it into six points for BSU. On the near side, there uh, on the near side, Rab is wide open as well. Boy, what a great pass, though. He caught it perfectly at the two and just fell into the end zone. Dryson just drug along, and uh, Z found him. There's a PAT by Anthony Montgomery. It's good. Seven seconds left in, a, in the uh, first quarter. Del Taco, every time Boise State scores, throws on 100 bucks. Victory in Christ Recovery, our recipient, a nonprofit halfway house for adults with alcohol and drug problems. Del Taco on Broadway, minutes from Bronco Stadium, open 24 hours every day. All right, uh, our touchdown, a recap, brought to you by Access Heating and Air Conditioning, an eight-play, 72-yard drive, used uh, four minutes and two seconds, the uh, touchdown pass to Dryson James, and... uh, 28-yarder 
And Boise State leads 10 to 7. Seven seconds left here in quarter number one. Talk to Coach uh, Brian Harson, the offensive coordinator, about confidence in guys who drop the ball. And I said, now, are you going to get more snaps to Childs? Are you going to give him more balls? How are you going to spread it out? Because the guys that are dropping it, maybe don't deserve it. You're going to do something else? And he just said, no. we got to keep feeding the guys that got us here. Remember Dryson last week with that key first down catch against the University of Idaho after he dropped the pass. It's just the way they do things here. Here's the kickoff. Let's see if the Broncos cover this one better. Oh, it's a little short kick. And it good hit. It does hit at the 15. A big bounce. And the Broncos tackle him right at the 20-yard line. West again. Chastain West did not go 93 this time. He went three. You think they had a little talking to? Yeah. That is the end of the first quarter. Thank you, Mr. Official. The end of the first quarter, 10-7, to 7, Boise State on the All-State Broncos Sports Network. to 7 Boise State first quarter stats brought to you by Rehab Authority Physical Therapy the neck and back specialist feel good again Fresno State 9 plays 12 yards Boise State 19 for 138 however 100 there a 93 yard kickoff return kind of levels the playing field it really does but Fresno State's not happy with what's going on in their offensive production category and they know that they can't rush the ball seven times and only get four yards out of it. As oh. Boise State knows that they like to see Ian Johnson do more than six carries for 25 yards. Yeah. Although not a bad average. No, I mean, he's averaging over five, and he's had some nice runs, but this game definitely has a little different flavor. All right, ready to go. First down, Fresno State. Line of scrimmage, the 20. Norton, the quarterback. Calling signals, man in motion. Norton from the shotgun. Right is the single setback. Three receivers. High snap. Play action. Back to pass. Sets up. Firing downfield. Oh, and both players fall down. And that was incidental contact. No flag. Great job by Kyle Wilson. Just totally blanketing Fernandez with great inside out. 
uh, aggressive coverage, very patient when the ball went up in the air. I thought that Kyle Wilson was in a great position, yep. didn't panic, looked back looked back when he was supposed to, and aggressively pushed him into the boundary because he had help over the top. Joe Fernandez played last week after missing three games with an injury. Yeah, he's had a tough season. Great kid. Second down and a 10. Norton calling signals, right the single setback, takes the handoff, hit behind the line of scrimmage, and pulled down! Oh, Mike T. Williams! Boy, Mike T. got through that time and just hurled him to the ground, a loss on the play of about five. Mike T., who was told that he wasn't going to get as many snaps tonight, Mike G. Williams, who has half the production of Mike T., has been getting more snaps, and this was his chance. He had a pressure on the last play, and now he has a huge tackle for loss, setting up Fresno in a very bad third and 15. Yeah, it's thought that Mike G is better against the run. Mike T was pretty good that time. Yeah. Third down and 16, and it's loud in Bronco Stadium. Norton from the shotgun. High snap, back to pass, setting up, being chased to the end zone, he's hit! The pass could be intercepted. Oh no, they broke it up! Oh, it would have been a touchdown for Shields, and Cole Brooks came over and knocked it away. And totally. we're going to have a hole, huh? Orlando Skander came on a blitz. Bobby Lapori, the left tackle, literally tackled Skandrick in the backfield because he was told to by the Fresno State receiver who knew Skandrick was coming. He caught him sneaking his eyes inside. Lapori had no chance but to tackle Skandrick, and still somebody got to Norton who threw up a duck, and David Shields had the had chance a of a Probably, lifetime. Yeah. Offense, number 72. The penalty is declined. Fourth down. Broncos do decline the penalty. It'll be fourth down, and Fresno State will have to punt from deep in their own territory. That would have been a huge turnover. Almost a safety on the play. Yeah, nice job by Andrew Browning, who did provide the pressure on Norton, who at 5'10 really struggles to see. Broncos only had 10 men in. Now a man comes in late. Look at that bunch punt formation. Yeah. Broncos setting up the uh, return. There's the kick. Low kick. Taken by Quentin Jones, and he is hammered at the 48. He did not look comfortable catching that punt, Jeff. No, he didn't. Probably because Orlando Skanderk was saying, Ole! Yeah. He let his man go, and he had to warn him. Yep. So the Broncos will have it first down, 10 yards to go at the 48. 13-49 left to go first half, 10-7. to Now there's timeout on the field. We'll be back on the All-State Broncos Sports Network. lucky winner for today's game. It's Joy Keeley in the north end zone counting out the $98 as she won earlier today in the grab for cash in Broncoville. And she's joined by Heather Sabala and Lauren Vassell from U.S. Bank. And highlights of Joy's quick hands can be seen right now at Bronco Vision. And by the way, she's making a donation to the BSU Foundation of the $98 that she won today. So let's have a nice hand for Joy Keeley. And remember, you can be the next lucky fan to jump in the cash machine, sign up each game. Beginning two hours prior to kickoff, the U.S. Bank table inside Broncoville at the Cabin Williams Sports Complex. The winning contest will have 30 seconds to grab for cash, courtesy of the official bank of the Broncos, U.S. Bank. Thirteen forty-nine left to go here in the first half. Broncos will take it over, and again, as it has been, Fresno State out there on the field, standing around looking at each other, while Boise State remains in the huddle on the sideline. Yeah, and sometimes that could be Dan Brown just wanting those guys to focus on what they've got to do, and they're trying to get the personnel package from Boise State because if BSU Paul J runs out two tight ends, that means one thing. One tight end means another. Yep. If they don't see a running back, that means something else. So they are just looking at Boise State to see what comes onto the field because they want to adjust their personnel packages to BSU. Let's go down to our Bronco Motor Hyundai Nissan sideline report. I want to ask Todd Miles. 
Is it cold down there, Todd? We're seeing a bunch of Bronco players jumping around, acting like it's getting pretty cold. Um, it's not too bad. I mean, it's probably 40, but there's no wind. I mean, there's been much worse games than this. So I just think, you know, when it's when it's like this, you want to keep your circulation going, keep those legs moving, keep those arms moving. But uh, I, I would say it's average cold. Yeah, all right. So not very. And no wind, and that is a big, uh, a big factor right there. The, the, the Fresno offense is cold, Paul Jay. They've got seven yards. Iconic <laughs> signals, Jared Zabransky, and we're in the second quarter. Z, deep pitch to Ian Johnson, cuts it up. He's at the 50, waits, he's at the 45, just like that, a gain of seven on first down. What you like is that he drug Charles Tolbert along for the ride. Yeah. And breaking tackles is how he has been billed, how he's been advertised, and now he's starting to produce. Seven carries, 32 yards, that average is getting up there. I mean, the lights have been shining on Ian all week with interviews, and it can't help but get in your head. I ESPN, think. the magazine's been here for two days. Be a big article on him. Offset eye formation, Johnson the tail. Zabransky calling signal, second down and three. Play action, back to pass. Look out. Going to be sacked back at the 48-yard line, a loss of seven. Another wrinkle that Boise State wanted to do was keep Ian Johnson in in obvious pass situations to break some tendencies. But that means Ian's got a pass block. That was his man that took him to school and sacked Jared Zabransky. That may be a tendency Brian Harson's willing to live with from here on out. That guy came from way wide, way off to the left of Ian, and uh, Ian didn't see him. It is third down and ten, passing situation. Brett Denton in now at tailback, back to pass. Zabraski fires. It's caught by Law at the 50 down to the 40-yard line. First down, Brad Law. Nice play, nice run after the catch by Law who came out of the backfield. He was the safety valve, and Brad catches his second ball of the year but produces a first down in a critical situation. Great decision by Jared Zabransky, who threw it to Brad Lau, who was able to still chug it 10 yards. That's his second catch of the year, and here we are in the ninth game. Yeah. 12 minutes left to go first half. Broncos lead 10-7. to They're driving. First down. Johnson back in at tailback. Takes the handoff. Has a blocker around the 40. And uh, they're doing a pretty good job uh, of holding him down, a gain of one to the 40-yard line. Yeah, uh, Lane, the weak side linebacker for Fresno State, is holding his water pretty well, they call it, not over committing and waiting for Ian Johnson rather than committing and having Ian cut off of him. He did a good job coming from the sideline back and holding Ian Johnson to uh, no gain. Just as Ian Johnson has patience, uh, he had called, showed some patience uh, that time himself. Second down and nine. Brett Denton in at uh, running back. Back to pass. Zabransky fires. Nice catch by Rab in space at the 40. Breaks a tackle to the 35. Knocked down at the 33. Pretty risky throw back on the wide side of the field. Elgin Simmons was in coverage that time on Rab. Could have jumped that route and ball and had a free pass to the end zone, but... Jared's showing a little more arm strength than maybe we bargained for. Got it to Rab, setting up a third and short. That was a critical down. Now putting Boise State in an option where, hey, Fresno's got to honor the run. Third and two. Brad Denton in there again at tailback. Z from the shotgun, calling signals. Back to pass, three-step drop. Now he wants to run, fleshed out of the pocket. He can make the first down. He's at the 35, the 30, the 25, the 20, the 15. Out of bounds at the 14-yard line. Great play, great scramble, second big run by Jared Zabransky. That's an example to me of, of a lot of quarterbacks have great decision-making. That was a great decision, but Jared Zabransky has wheels. That was an example of his speed. It's one thing to make a decision to do something great. It's another to have the athleticism to get it done. And that was an example of why Jared Zabransky is nothing but excedrin for defensive coordinators. 14-yard line is where they mark it. First down, 10 yards to go for the Broncos, trying to increase their three-point lead. How about this? Ian Johnson wide to the right, now goes in motion. Sets up on the left side of Zabransky, takes the inside handoff, 
And he's down to the 10, four-yard gain. He was a half a step away from the end zone there. Yeah, and that time he lost his balance, and Tyler Klutz grabbed his ankle. And usually, if Ian was balanced up, I think he would have broke that tackle and ran into the end zone. He just was off kilter a little uh, half a step, and that's all it took. Ian now eight carries, 33 yards. Nebraska four for 27. Nene, of course, that one 30-yard carry. Broncos doing it on the ground. Schumann in motion. Second down, six yards to go. Deep pitch to Johnson, has blockers, goes outside, doesn't have blockers there. Inside the 10, close to a first down at the four. He's got he's got a hydra lane talking to himself, and now it's Schumann saying, hey, it's okay, man. He's taking guys from Oregon State, put them in the same position you are. He's almost praying to the porcelain god. God is what Lane looks like to me. He's talking to himself on his knees, and now he's coming out of the game, and Dan Brown will talk to him. So he did not make the first down. It's third down about a foot. At the uh, five, just inside the five-yard line. Very Ian, frustrating. Yep. Ian, now it's uh, Zabransky for the first down at the three. Nice call there by Z. Just went up, touched the center, and went forward. Ian never moves, standing there with his hands on his hips. Going, I like to watch these first down runs. Another, you know, experienced move by Jared Zabransky, who when he knows there's an overshifted defensive line and he sees a crease, why risk a handoff when you can lean forward? Guys, 28 and 5, Jeff. I mean, you know, that says it all for me. And he's a finalist for one of these great big awards for quarterback. Maxwell Award. Player of the Year. Z calling signals. Whoa! And, uh, Tyler Klutz that time just turned and shoved the Boise State O'Neal. Tight end right O'Neal right on Offense. his backside. Number 88. Five yard penalty. Still first down. O'Neal induced him, so the penalty is against Boise State, as you heard. And it will be a first down and goal from the eight instead of from the three. You move out of time, you pay the crime. You get knocked on your butt. And that's another procedure penalty for Boise State. Now the fourth on the evening, and we're only, you know, nine minutes and 14 seconds to go in the second quarter. They've all been on the offensive line, too, Jeff. Man in motion. That's Peretta. Back to pass. Zabraski fires to Peretta. He's got it at the 15, the 10, the 5. Touchdown, Vinny P. Boy, that was a great play. They faked the handoff to Ian Johnson, and Peretta just kept running. Zabransky turned and threw, and he was alone on the right side of the field and walked it into the end zone. Every time BSU scores, Paul J. Del Taco puts a 100 spot to the nonprofit halfway house for adults with alcohol and drug problems, Victory in Christ Recovery. Del Taco on Broadway, minutes from Bronco Stadium, open 24 hours daily. All right, here comes a PAT from Anthony Montgomery, 16-7, to Boise State. The snap, the kick is up. And it's 17-7. Broncos with their biggest lead, a 10-pointer. Timeout on the field. 9.06 left to go here in the first half. It's 17-7. We'll be back on the Broncos Sports Network.
Broncos need a move. They count on Airman. So when you need someone you can count on for your move, call Airman. Team to seven, Boise State. Nine oh six left to go in the first half. Ten play, fifty two yard drive. Used 443, an eight-yard touchdown pass from Zabransky to Vinny Peretta. Scoring drive recap brought to you by Access Heating and Air Conditioning, your access to total comfort. Hey, if Paul, J, owned. if Paul J sounds good to you on the All-State Broncos Sports Network and you're watching the ASPN feed with the KBOI volume turned up, go to uh, AM670 uh, KBOI, 670KBOI.com and look into the delay play or listen to Paul J and Chris uh, during mornings, when's your Bronco notebook, Paul J? About seven twenty. Eight seventeen is 17? when we uh, give away the uh, the delay chance play. to win. Yeah. All right, so qualify there, and we'll give one away a week, and you can have delay play in your own house. Look at the average per play so far, uh, with nine oh six left to go in the half. Boise State averaging six point eight yards a play. Fresno State six tenths of a yard a play. Fresno with twelve uh, plays, seven yards. All right, West and Chamblay are deep for the uh, kickoff. If the kickoff goes deep, I don't expect it to. They had pretty good luck with that pop kick last time. Montgomery up, kicks it away this time. West moves up, takes it at the 8, up to the 20, and knocked down at the 21. I don't think they're going to run another one back. Boy, and I'll tell you what, Fresno on special teams likes to shove it around and mix it up with the Boise State guys. You know, one of the challenges that I think Fresno's got to recognize is while they've got two first downs so far in this game, one of them came by penalty. Yep. So they are really struggling on offense, and they haven't even attempted to get right into the game. I mean, right, six carries for six yards. Yeah. If they can't run the ball, they are in a world of hurt. Norton calling signals. Right back there is a single setback, three receivers. Long count. Inside handoff, no, he fires a pass, complete at the 20. A missed tackle, West makes the catch, and he's pushed out of bounds by Skandrick. Who missed it? It was Tadman who missed the tackle at the 19, but Skandrick got him at the 22. Yeah, Tadman may have missed, but Skandrick got off of his block quickly and physically came up to stop West. Great job by both of those guys limiting uh, Fresno State first down throw. And, you know, it's one of the challenges I think Norton has is with his size... He has to be in the shotgun. I don't think he throws the ball effectively under the center. He's too short. Look how low he has to get under Young. He can't see. He can't see when he gets that ball. Now he can't see over Young now. Back to pass. Setting up. Protection breaking down. He's running, being chased. He can go forever, though. He's the 30 and out of bounds with a first down at the 33. Good scramble by Norton. And that basically is what he does best, run the football. And, and that's, you know, But to me, that's scrambling for your life. That play broke down. He didn't recognize pressure. He, I think he struggles to see. I mean, Kyle Young is 6'5", 335 pounds. You can't squat like you're in the woods. <laughs> You've got to stand up in your stance. He can't see over him in my book. First down at the 33-yard line. Norton calling signals, offset eye formation. Hands it off to right. Hit at the line of scrimmage. Breaks a tackle. And up to the 40-yard line. I'll give it to Marty Tadman. He's never scared to come up and lay a lick on somebody. Got knocked over backwards that time. He forgets he's 185 (laughs) pounds wet. He's he's adjusting his uh, head, I think. Yeah, I mean, Wright has run over better guys than Marty Tadman. I think Bilotti said he runs harder than Adrian Peterson. Pretty good gain on first down. A gain of about six. Obviously his best run of the night. Man in motion. They hand it off again. This is right. He's knocked down at the 40. Great tackle by Kyle Wilson. Wow. And then Wright's not getting up. Wright is down. He is not getting up. Boy, and he's rithering. He's just writhing in pain. And it looks like in that situation it's ankles or knees. And that's the way the tackle came down. Kyle Wilson in the open field went uh, low on him and grabbed him by the ankle and sort of collared him down. And I think it may be some type of ankle sprain or twist that took right down. And you could feel the rhythm in the offensive pattern of uh, Fresno State. He grabbed his right leg and just threw him down in the backfield for a loss. I'd say Blue Cross of Idaho injury timeout, Idaho's largest health insurer. He's had a bad ankle. And um, I don't. it looks like almost like a hip pointer the way he came down on could his Could be hip. that as well. 
Boy, he is down, and this is a huge loss for Fresno State, if indeed. Lonye it is. Miller is their backup. He's a 5'11, 210 kid. And let's go down to our Bronco Motors Hyundai Nissan sideline reporter, Todd Miles, for an update. Yeah, it kind of looked like from down here, like he hyperextended his arm when he went down. It kind of bent a funny way. Like maybe popped out and then popped right back in, which would attest to why he's able to run off the field. Yeah, but, he's, uh, he's I think it's scary more than anything. Well, yeah, I mean, it's scary for Fresno State, I'll tell you what. Comes off under his own power and certainly looks like he'll be back. Big third down play, though, meanwhile, at the 40-yard line. Third down and three. Big play here for Fresno State. No back attack. Four receivers all to the left side. Norton calling signals. Big play for this young quarterback. Back to pass. Being chased. Fires. Incomplete. Intended for West, good uh, defense by Kyle Wilson, who gave West a shot as the ball sailed over his head and out of bounds. You know, third and short, I'm, I'm not taking a young kid and telling him to roll out to his left, pull up, and throw that direction. Yeah. That's just not a poor, I think that's a poor decision. And that ball was poorly thrown. He's lucky he didn't get picked off. And now they're in a punt formation, Paul Jay, and they are really struggling with their punt game at Fresno State. One of the worst in the country, unfortunately, for Pat Hill. After that last almost muff catch, uh, we got Tadman back returning punts. There's the uh, punt, boy. Is it short? Tadman running up, 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 up. And is hit. The ball is loose. There's going to be a penalty. Obviously, he was hit as he tried to catch the ball. Fresno State has the ball, but it will be Boise State's ball upfield. Looked like he was nailed by Bear Pasco. You know, I don't know if that's legal. I mean, if you do that on Main Street at 6th at 2 a.m. You're going to jail. You're going to jail. You're six foot five, 260 pounds. What are you doing running at a guy, you know, with a 40-yard head Kick start? interference. Kicking team number 28. Okay, that's a little better. 15-yard penalty from the spot of the foul. Automatic first down. Now. Does that remind you of a similar play, the old Gilligan rule play, when uh, Gilligan down at Fresno State in 2001 was flattened by a Fresno State uh, defender, and uh, that brought in the halo rule, which only lasted a year. Timeout on the field. Timeout on the field. It's another Geico timeout. One phone call in 15 minutes could save you 15% on your car insurance. Call 1-800-947-AUTO. It's 17-7, to Boise State. 6.32 6.32 left on the All-State Broncos Sports Network. State Broncos Sports Network. It's 17 to 7 Boise State with six minutes and 32 seconds to go in the second quarter. Boise State first and 10 on their own 40 yard line. Paul Jay is Fresno State sort of reeling from the mistakes. The penalties now starting to get a little more critical at the wrong time for Fresno. BSU has had more penalties, but that's an example to me of just the unfortunate timing of Fresno State's mistakes this season. They've yeah. done them at the wrong time. And that was just a poor decision by A.J. Uh, Jefferson, a, a young guy that sort of leaned into Marty Tadman. Bear Pasco, I apologize, yeah. it wasn't you. He, yeah, he beat the block of uh, Boise State. and he, then uh, He didn't see the hand going up. No. First down, Boise State. Line of scrimmage, the 40. Zabransky, inside handoff. Nope, he's still got it. Pitches uh, wide to Peretta. Nice play, and Peretta knocked down behind the line of scrimmage. 
Yeah, did not fool everybody on Fresno State's defense, no, for sure. Trevor Shambly, the man who made the stop for Fresno State, good play defensively. Yeah, Fresno starting to use some rotation for some freshness out there. Shambly's a backup linebacker, and he's taking a lot of snaps. All right, now wide receiver is uh, Schumann. Now they pass downfield. Great catch by Rapp, but he spun around and fell down at the 48. He has a first down, though. Great job by Brian <laughs> Harson, who put... Marcus McCauley, one of the best players in the country in a very difficult position. McCauley had to decide, do I take the short route away from Schumann or do I go with Rab? He made the wrong decision. Z had the time from the O-line to make the decision, and he hit Rab. So Bransky's best game of the year, maybe, huh? Oh, no question. We said this is another Don Larson. Perfect game. Please reset the game clock to 5.46. And Five, four seconds on there. Four, six. Game clock is now at 5.42. They reset it to 5.46. Another aggressive uh, hometown clock operator, Paul J. Schneider? Yes. That would be K.J. Mack. <laughs> Old Ins friend. Inside handoff to Ian Johnson across uh, the 50, the 45, down to the 43. Sometimes I thought those clock guys are just anxious to get the food yeah. before they take it away. Yeah, because at halftime they know the newspaper guys are going to be up there eating everything. Exactly. There'll be nothing left. So they were anxious to get it going. Except the newspaper guys have already eaten everything. But they're paying for it now. They, yep. they have to give them a check for that. Yep, back to pass. Zabransky. Fires, got a man out there. Caught! Nice. Oh, he dropped it. Dyson James at the three. Pretty well covered, but boy, it looked like he should have caught that one. And it looked like it was caught and dropped out of bounds, but it's going to cost Fresno State a defender who's... Now running out of the game, holding his right arm. Damon Jenkins is a starter at corner and came down wrong. Maybe it's a funny bone, but it looks like he's holding it as if his shoulder was hurt pretty bad on that play. They've been playing Elgin Simmons and A.J. Jefferson quite a bit, so they'll just rotate the next guy in. Third down and three. We didn't get a replay on that play to see if the ball was knocked away or not. It's as far away from us as, as it can get. Putnam in motion. Back to pass, Zabransky has time, fires, caught, Nene at the 40, down to the 38, and that's enough for a first down. Pretty precise night for Jared Zabransky, and I don't know if Ian Johnson's impressing anybody tonight nationwide, but I'll bet that a guy named Zabransky is. Yeah, Jared, 9 of 13, 93 yards and a couple of touchdowns. You know, Ian's uh, warming it up, 11 for 49. He'd probably get another one here. He takes a hand off there, breaks one tackle. And that's it. Well, by golly, he made it down to the 35. And he looks like he's going to be stopped for no gain against four. Yeah, it's amazing how in that situation he was stopped at the line of scrimmage, but at the last minute he twists his body. As Boise State sort of goes now with a hurry up, Paul Jay, trying to catch Fresno with a different personnel. Z, back to pass, fires over the top, caught. And that's uh, Ian Johnson at the uh, 35 to the 30, down to the 28. Close to a first down. That's fourth fourth catch of, the, of year. the year. And that's what they wanted to do. Break some tendencies by throwing the ball to Ian Johnson, keeping him in pass situations. He's not Brock Forsey. I'll no. stand up for Brock Forsey. Yep. He ran the ball and he caught the ball. Brock has about scored opponents this year, 118-28 to 28 in the second quarter. And they're doing a pretty good job tonight. Brock goes again with a hurry up. Zabransky, play action. Good block by Johnson that time. Z running, he's got room, he's the 30, the 25, the 20, and just basically stepped out of bounds so he wouldn't take a big hit, a gain of eight on first down. Another, nice block by uh, Ian Johnson. Yeah, nice nice job by Jared as well, knowing the pattern wasn't there, and just go ahead, take check down and take your eight yards, get regrouped with a second and two, and you've got Fresno on the ropes. You mentioned it. It's actually second and one as they spotted it at the 19. You mentioned it on his last run. Zabransky's a fast individual. He really is. A lot and, faster than you think he is. Really underestimate that. Zabransky calling signals in motion is Putnam from right to left. Hand it off. Johnson at the 20. Cuts back inside. Knocked down at the 15. Just another five-yard gain. And it's a first down, Boise State. At the Fresno 15 with 3.57 left to go in the first half, the Broncos lead 17-7. to He's dragging Vincent Mays and Tyler Klutz on his back just for the last couple of yards to get that first down. You know, you're, you're talking about, you know, 500 pounds a guy almost. That's quite a bit of guy to be rolling around. 
First down, and Ian is one of these guys, the more he carries it, the better he gets. Zabransky calling signals, line of scrimmage, the Fresno 15. Hand off again to Johnson, not much there, cuts back inside, and ooh, ooh, somebody had a hold, that's how you get hurt. Somebody had a hold of his ankle, and we got a penalty flag away from play. Well, you got Ryan Clady downfield fighting with a hydra lane again, away from the play at the end of it, it depends who they caught. Lady looks pretty guilty. Well, if it's a retaliation penalty, then he is. After the ball was dead, personal foul, defense, number 43. Half the distance to the goal, and an automatic first down. So, Ryan held his water. All we saw was Clady walking away, shaking his head, and he was shaking his head because of the Fresno guy. And you mentioned it earlier in this drive, Fresno starting to make key mistakes. Well, it just depends on who started it. It's never important who starts it. It's who ends it. And uh, he probably got caught retaliating. Nebraska calling signals. Schumann in motion right to left. Z. Three-step drop pass. It's Chad. No, it's Nene. Touchdown, I believe. Or did he hang on? He did not. No touchdown, Nene. Let's go down to our Bronco Motors Hyundai Nissan sideline reporter, Todd Miles. Yeah, guys, there's a little history behind that. The uh, Hyja Lane guy uh, earlier on a play blitzed. Clady picked him up, and the guy shoved his hands right up underneath his face mask, uh, which is a penalty. They didn't call it. So Clady's kind of been searching him out ever since. <laughs> and he got him just a little late that time, and the guy turned and smacked Clady right in front of the official. Good job, Ryan. Second down and goal from the seven-yard line. Pass was not caught by Nene. Man in motion, Putnam. Handoff, Ian Johnson. Johnson, boy, down to the three, and that's it. You know, for the most part, I think they have done a decent job against Ian Johnson, who's now working on, you know, 14, 15 carries. That's a lot of work for the... 245 mark of the second quarter. Yeah, Johnson usually gets uh, most of his carries, it seems, in the second half. We're really getting down into touchdown territory, and he'd probably just as soon get his 19th right now. Yep. Bronco shift, load up the left side. Z, calling signals. About time for an option. There it is. They pitch it back to Ian Johnson. He sprints into the end zone. There's number 19 for Ian Johnson. And with 2.23 left to go on the half, it's 23-7, to 7, Boise State. Hey, every time Boise State scores, Del Taco puts $100 to the Victory in Christ Recovery. Nonprofit halfway house for adults with alcohol and drug problems. Del Taco on Broadway, open 24 hours every day. Nice run by Ian Johnson. Anthony Montgomery now on to try the uh, PAT. I think they just outnumbered Fresno State again to that side of the line. It was an easy play. Once the pitch man, you know, commits to Jared... He just throws it. He just throws it to the end, and he just, there's nobody there. Yeah, there's one guy there backpedaling. There's no way he's going to tackle him. PAT's good. 24 to 7, Boise State. 223 left to go on the All State Broncos Sports Network. offensive picture does not look too clear. No. 17 plays, 26 yards so far. That drive, 13 plays, 60 yards, used 409. 
Ian Johnson, six carries for 23 yards, one reception for uh, seven yards. Your uh, scoring drive recap from access heating and air conditioning, your access to total comfort, locally owned and operated. Boy, do you stay with Norton or do you switch and go back to Brandstetter, who was your starter and, you know, so you get give him a spark, do yeah. something? You get all involved in that quarterback controversy thing. A short kick by Boise State, fair catch, called for and made. <laughs> A staggering fair catch of the 28-yard line, and uh, that was uh, Elijah Lane. Now that's Camp, backup linebacker who's you know shocked to be in the game in the first place. That ball came toward him, and he went, oh, my goodness, what do I do? <laughs> I do with this. Called for a fair catch well, and I, almost I, fell over. I could see guys say, do I catch it and then call fair catch, or do I fair <laughs> catch it and then catch Or do I fair catch it with make the signal with my left hand yeah. and catch it with my right? Exactly. All right, first down. For Fresno State, line of scrimmage, the 28, 204 left and a half. Back to pass, Norton rolling out, Ooh. being chased. Oh, Ooh. it's a good thing they whistled that dead. Because oh, yeah. <laughs> Corey Hall had him in his sights, man. And, and as they say in those... Snapped. False start, offense, 85, five-yard penalty, remains first down. As they say in those Navy movies, you know, he was locked and loaded. <laughs> Yeah, Corey Hall was definitely beaten down on Norton. Bear Pasco, uh, who was a pretty highly touted high school quarterback, is now a tight end at Fresno State, not doing what he's supposed to. Second quarter brought to you by Burger King. Have it your way. Shotgun, Norton back in it here. First down of 15, line of scrimmage, the 23. Norton takes the snap, drops straight back, being rushed, fires downfield, turnaround. They did, they caught it. At the 50 down to the 45-yard line, Gerald Alexander basically turned the wrong way, and West made the catch, and that is by far the biggest play for Fresno State tonight. I mean, Gerald looked inside for the ball and thought it was going to be two yards downfield, and uh, West stayed where the ball landed, and big play for Fresno. First down at the 44-yard line. Norton, back to pass, three-step drop, fires, caught. Boy, what a great tackle by the youngster for Boise State, Kyle Wilson. Chastain, uh, Chastain West made the catch and paid the price. A gain of only two on the play. Boy, did he take a shot from Wilson. You know, he is a confident kid. He's just a very confident kid. They love what they get out of uh, Kyle Wilson, and they love the fact they got him three more years. Yeah, he's a freshman. You got Skandrick and Wilson. You're feeling pretty good about 07. Second down and eight yards to go. Again, now Norton maybe had the vision problems you were talking about. He's been almost exclusively shotgun on this drive. Back to pass. Sets up, fires. Caught again by West. And again, Wilson hammers him. That's not West. That's Fernandez. Fernandez. And that's exactly what Wilson should do. As now Fresno goes into their own little hurry up, trying to get something going. Minute five Time left out. to go. Timeout. Fresno State University. So Fresno that State. Fresno State's first charge. Timeout. Okay, Fresno State takes the time out. What do you got there? Well, Wilson's already got six tackles on the evening, and he was busy on the first drive, and he has just continually stayed in that mode. And Kyle Wilson, young man out of New Jersey, he's had pass breakups. I think he's right behind Quinton with three. He's just a, a playmaker, and this is another one of these converted wide receivers like Quinton Jones is at corner. And sometimes I think that's tough to recruit a kid out of high school who's a star wide receiver and then make him a defensive back and tell him he's got to run backwards and hit people. All right, our R.C. Willie, best seats in the house winner is Kevin Fish of Caldwell. Kevin Fish, you have the best seats in the house for the final game. Don't forget to sign up to win. Well, don't sign up anymore because uh, there's only one more game. And uh, as you just heard, there was a winner in the R.C. Willie best seats in the house. Sign up early for next year. All right, here we go. Third down and three. Big play for Fresno State. Broncos lead 24-7. to seven. Norton, the quarterback, calling signals. Very loud in here. Right is the single setback. Norton back to pass. Sets up, has time. Flushed out of the pocket. He's hit from behind by Skandrick and knocked down for a loss at the 42-yard line. Now, is that a sack? Is that a Rutledge sack or just a tackle for loss? Uh, to me, that's a sack. It was behind the line of scrimmage, a loss on the play. Now it's fourth and seven, and they were going for it. Higgins and Rutledge, for every BSU sack, puts $100 to the BSU football program. 
Bert and Rod Higgins. And Higgins and Rutledge Insurance for anything you need to insure your home, business, or life. They're letting the clock run, though. 33 seconds left to go. They run out of the huddle. Fourth down and seven. Fresno State. Fresno State, second charge. Timeout. So they try to get Boise State discombobulated, but the Broncos were where they should have been. And now Fresno State's going to talk it over on fourth down. Think they'll go for it? Oh, yeah. I think they'll stay with that. And Presley State continues with their trends, never trailing in a football game after the 10-minute point in the second quarter. They'll definitely go in at the half uh, winning. They've not been tied or obviously been you know, defeated in the second half. So everything should hold true to form. You take away the, the special teams pop for Fresno, and if Wright is hurt, He's at eight carries for 13 yards. He's still in the game, though. It's a dominating, but they may not be giving it to him because yeah. maybe he's kind of dinged. We don't know. At this point, nothing seems to be going well for him. Outside of that pass they just hit on Alexander, you know, they're going to go into the house here with 62 yards of offense and a lot of questions. Yep, 62 yards of offense, 30 of it on one play. See, I just don't see how you can stick with a young guy in Norton when you've got Brandstater there. They're both sophomores, one six five two twenty. I would think he could sit in that pocket and maybe get a little bit more for Fresno State. All right, it's going to be fourth down and seven, and Fresno's going to go for it. Right is the setback. Got to keep an eye on Paul Williams. And right Quentin to the Jones. Right. And Quinton Jones on him. From the shotgun, Norton. They're trying to draw Boise State offside. They call their final timeout the Buck, and they snap the ball. <laughs> But they'd already called timeout. That was almost disastrous Fresno for State. Fresno. That is Fresno State's third and final charge timeout. That time Norton got up there and clapped his hands like, hike it now, hike it now. Boise State just held the water. And uh, Fresno State is a Wilson just putting his shoe on. He's you know, okay. Steve Hagan is the offensive coordinator in his first year at, at Fresno. And you know, Ludwig has left the program, went to Utah, and they've had to shuffle the deck. Hagan's an NFL guy. He's got four years' experience there. So I'm sure this is kind of a challenge for him to work with a young sophomore who I think he let go to the line of scrimmage, get a pre-snap read, then said, hey, we got timeouts. If you don't like what you see, if the play isn't there exactly as I've told you, call timeout, come back, and we'll talk about it. Yeah. And, you know, guys start losing confidence, though, at that point. And Pat Hill is a real dogged, determined guy. He doesn't give up on quarterbacks. Really doesn't. He stays with them to a fault. All right, third down, uh, fourth down and seven. Norton, the quarterback, right the setback from the shotgun. Norton, two receivers right, one to the left. High snap from center, taken though, back to pass. Norton leans into it, incomplete. He overshot West. Broncos will take over with 24 seconds left and maybe take a shot down the field here. I think you've got two shots and to make something happen and that play wouldn't have been converted for a first down anyway. And yeah, I, I, strange, strange play. Yeah, just something out of nothing. Paul Williams, who was one-on-one -on -one with Quinton Jones, was not open, and Quinton was getting help over the top. So I think he did play him aggressively into the boundary, did a good job. All eyes were on him, I think, because Williams is such a big play guy for Fresno State. But if you don't have somebody who can get him the ball, you can have all the big play people you want. It doesn't matter. Broncos are going to take the old victory formation and wow. go to the locker room. Now you can't argue with 24-7. 24-7, <laughs> Boise State. Uh, that's the halftime score. Broncos up by 17 on the All-State Broncos Sports Network. We'll be back. Kick for a truck is about to take place. 
This year's contest is brought to you by your Northwest Dodge dealers at 670 KBY. The voice of the Broncos. Our lucky fan is Travis Stein. Travis was chosen at random for a chance to drive away with a one-year lease on a 2006 Dodge Ram. And Travis is standing in the south end zone where he'll throw the football first, then punt, followed by a field goal attempt for the year lease on the Dodge truck. And if we can't give Travis the truck, we're going to give him two tickets to the final home game of the year. We need some crowd noise, so help him out. It's time to punt, pass, and kick for a truck. Here's Travis Stein. yards for Travis. Very nice. Let's give a nice hand. That's a great start. And Travis is getting ready to punch. yard field goal attempt now for Travis. He's put himself in great shape. Give him some help, everybody. A little bit wide. That was a great kick. Let's give him a nice hand. Travis Stein. Great job, Travis. Travis is going to get a couple of tickets to the uh, final football game against Utah State. And that's your punt passing kick for the truck brought to you by your own first half dealers at KBY. Minutes and 40 seconds to get back in Bronco Stadium. We mentioned the Sugar, Fiesta, and Orange Bowls, all with representatives today at Bronco Stadium. Joseph Millsaps is a member of the football committee for the Orange Bowl, based in Miami, Florida. Joins us here on the Paul's Markets Halftime Report. Joseph, welcome to our fine city. I don't see a sweater vest on you. You must have nice thermals underneath this orange blazer. Well, I'll tell you what, I had to go out yesterday and buy a pair but uh, it's not something that comes with the appointment. 